Hi guys, Andy Go for my dad. Hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. Baggy top is definitely on today. Definitely too much turkey and mince pies, but we're back hitting golf balls anyway. So today I actually watched a video from Sean Foley, Tiger Woods ex-coach on me and my golf channel, watching those YouTube videos over Christmas. And it actually resonated with me something in what he was showing on that swing, which may also help you as well. So I'm going to go through that today and I actually hit some balls on Boxing Day on here in the GC3 and the numbers are pretty exciting for me. Right guys, so what Sean talks about is creating width and time in the downswing, which for me got me thinking where my tendencies is to spin out early, my hands get fast, I have a lot of timing issues where when it's on, it's on, but it does make it harder, gives me that fraction less time to help square this club face. So what was exciting, I put this into practice on Boxing Day, hit some balls in here, and it felt a lot more effortless power, which is always a good thing, and also felt like I had a lot more time, obviously we're talking fractions, felt a lot more time coming through the ball. So if you're one or you know someone, and this is where we're feeling, that we're feeling playing from here, where it feels there's no width. I know a couple of people who play from here, couple of my friends, and it definitely gets me in trouble to play from here to get here. There's got to be all sorts of issues and timing issues through from there. So what Sean was talking about, like we said, it was the width. So for the width part, the feeling now is that the club is going out to here while the hip is still going up and back, the arm here. So if you see this angle here, this is 90 degree. I'm actually trying to feel that this is about 100, 110. So the width is out here. So if you're one who thinks you've got to turn and turn and turn, but then the body goes here. If you see the arms, we get trapped on here. So that's what we're talking width. That's width. That's trapped. To play from here, we can't play good golf from there, guys. So little drill what Sean showed. This is the feeling. So... We can get into here, we rotate, push the arms out. That'll feel super wide. But you see the angle on here before, that was up here. The problem with holding on to all these angles or creating more angles, we have to get rid of them. My fault, definitely my swing, we've been told to, got to create the legs. So we try to hold on, hold on, hold on, causing so much issues when what I've done with this one now, as we get to the top, my actual feeling is that I release the angle early. So as we go up, I'm now creating super width. And then from the down, as I push into my left side, I'm actually releasing the club. It feels that it's going that way. And so with speed and distance, there's obviously forces you can add to, but if we can make the club head and the club grip, club path, travel further so instead of coming where i was recently i was doing it where you drop the hands here but it's getting narrow so now i'm going wide pushing to the left but then the hands are going that way getting the x stretch but now my club head instead of traveling here is actually traveling out here what it is doing is giving me a whole lot more time to play in this space instead of having to fight early extension because I haven't got time for my hands to catch up and the club head to catch up. So width here, goes out here. So what I have seen as the spin numbers have definitely come down. I've got seven iron here, I'm just chipping a few. Hit a couple, so again, it's here. Oh, actually, so we do the drill, so it's here, rotate, Push the width. That's the feeling I want to get into. Let's clip a few. First ball flushed. Honestly, it just feels I've got so much more time through from there. Just a little softy. So what we can see, obviously, that's the first swing. The angle of attack, before I was hitting around six, seven, eight degrees down, that one's four degree. I was actually getting to around two, three degrees down. So let's hit a couple more. 
with this feeling. So I want to get off the ball, get the width, and go down that way. That's flushed. Efficiency, jump to one, three, four. There you go. So again, as you can see, you'll see from the other camera, but the angle of attack is now 3.2. So I'm a lot more shallower through the ball. Spin is 7.2, which is fine. I would like that to be around 6,700. This is for the seven irons. Launch in 20 degrees. Perfect. Again, it just feels like I've got so much more time. I just want to feel now that I get my chest off the ball. I have a tendency to stay over, which then if I do, I have to back up. And that gives me a few little problems. So for this one, also what he did mention as well, which is quite interesting, we all know, or we should know that the old rule of keeping the head still, total load of rubbish. If someone tells you that, walk away from them. Definitely don't listen to them. What I find, so if I keep my head still, I try and turn. I just can't rotate as much. Well, I'm going to let my, uh, you watch Jack Nicholas. He was looking through his left eyes. He was turning. And again, same rhythm, but then I'm going to let my head go. Let's see if this helps with the rotation. Oh, so much more freedom. Little toey. So they're not getting stuck. Obviously, a little draw is going to bring the spin down. So I'll pull that a bit, but the spin has come down to six and a half thousand, which before Boxing Day, I could not get my seven iron nowhere near that. So all this talk of different shafts, blah, blah, blah. It's all how we deliver the club. Again, I'm 2.5 degrees down instead of six, seven degrees. So how that affects spin. So I've mentioned this before, but very briefly, again, this is about spin loft. So we've got two different things. Presuming I hit the center of the club, but a very rough guide is the spin loft. So we've got the two sticks. The top stick is the launch angle. So we are launching at 20 degrees. And now the angle of attack here is two degrees down. So this angle here is my spin loft. So before I was hitting seven degrees down. So if I drop that down, you can see this angle increases, which increases spin. So it's actually helped with the driver as well. So now I've been able to drop my spin so the ball goes further. So from here, see the angle there. So that's how we control spin, presuming we hit the center face. So again, spin loft, launch angle, angle of attack. So if we change those numbers, that's how we change spin. So if you're hitting too high spin, you might be launching the ball too high, maybe hitting down or even if you're hitting up. But if you're launching in a seven iron at 30 degrees and you're hitting up on the ball, You've still got a big number here, so the spin's going to be high. So that's how I've changed the spin numbers. I'm coming a lot more shallow, so the spin loft numbers are bringing that down. So the drill that Sean was talking about on the video, what he gets all these pros, including Tiger back in the day, which they hated, is the 9 to 3 drill, Tommy Fleetwood drill. So what he has them doing, and to be fair, in my garage, I've got a little setup. I can only iron, so actually this works perfect. I've been doing five, ten minutes a day. So the feeling to get this one is that we're going to obviously hit 9 o'clock till 3 o'clock. But what we're doing here, this feels that I want to reach as far back as I can. Again, I've always been one who sets too much too early. But the problem is, I said, you've got to get rid of that hinge. So for this one, feel that you go as far back over there like I'm passing the club to someone. The club head goes as far as we can. And the same distance as us, still trying to hit the ball so it goes in the air. But again, it goes as far out as we can. So it feels like the club head is going down there. So we're going to chip some nine to three. That feels compressed. And all this time, I was trying to work really force down on that. I, I know this move, I could feel that. It, brings the lag itself without me having to hang on to the lag. Again, reach back, club head goes far, chip it through. I 
I can feel that I'm going actually going through. It's actually creating the angles what we all want to try and see and what we see from the tour pros. So nine to three drill guys, go give it a go. Really helping, I can just feel that compressing the ball. I'm not hanging on and I'm not coming up and out. Right guys, so let me know if you go away and give this a go. Definitely if you want who you get cramped, this is definitely a feeling that has, by looking at the data from the other day, obviously I've hit drivers, irons, wedges. It has brought the spin down all the numbers and I do feel I've got so much more time and not having to fight in here to get early extents to make sure I can get to that ball. So main points again, want to feel that we get off the ball, hands go as far away as we feel, keep this angle, I don't want to see here, because from here, as I said, we're probably going to have to stand up to extend the arms to get back to that ball. So let's just feel, get off the ball, push into the left side. The big thing is let the club go, release those angles as early as we can, coming so much more shallow. The club adds traveling even further. So you're actually going to have some distance. Give yourself some more time through the ball. Hopefully crush a few. All right, there we go. So last numbers then, so only a few balls. So angle of attack, 3.2 down, which again, like I said, I was hitting down seven degrees, eight degrees, launching, perfect for my seven iron. Little smoothie, 105 miles an hour club head speed, carrying 190, which is my perfect smooth seven iron. Definitely don't tinker like I used to, but I'm always every day looking for little nuggets of knowledge that I can use and incorporate if I think it's gonna help me. And God is, hey, this one with more time, more shallow, bringing my spin numbers down, definitely helped me. So there's another one. Oh, that's flushed. 109, club at speed. One nine nine carry. Felt like I got so much more time. Definitely going to be putting this technique into the long drive game as well. See if we can crank those speeds up even further whilst bringing the spin down, hitting those bombs. Right, guys. Let's have one more bomb. Let's get out there. Get rid of those angles. Shallow that angle of attack. And hit some bombs. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe. Again, I'm super impressed with these numbers. So hopefully, give them a go. If you're the one who you're feeling a bit trapped, you want a bit more time through the ball, and you want to add some effortless speed and distance, and who doesn't? Right. Anyway, guys, till next time, see you later.